I hope this finds you well. I'm Nancy Kuria, I'm the campus librarian, and I want to demonstrate to you how you can access a resources and uh, online services that are available in the library to support your uh, study and research. To begin with, I'll show you the uh, three ways in which you can be able to access our online services and resources. Uh, the first way is going through the MKU website which is uh, www.mku.ac.ke and when the website opens you'll see uh, links up here where library is one of them and by clicking on the library it will take you to the library website. The second way is going directly to the MKU website, I mean to the library website sorry, where you uh, 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 click on library.mku .ac.ke and it will still take you to the library website. The third option is to go through the OPAC, which is OPAC, which is Online Public Access Catalog, which is uh, opac.mku.ac.ke, through which you'll be able to also access the resources. So to begin with, I'll, um, uh, by clicking on the library here on the uh, MKU website, it will take you to this page here. And as you can see, the various uh, links, which are very useful to you. So I'd urge you to go, uh, take your time and go through them. Um, uh, the purpose for this demonstration is for e-resources, which is uh, e-books, e-journals, uh, past papers, institutional repository, and some of the online services that we have. So to start with, I'll show you how to access the e-books. So you click on e-resources on the library website. Then you click on ebooks. And it will open this page here uh, and it shows some of the databases that are available. And uh, you can click on either of them depending on which subject you're looking for. But for demonstration purposes, I'll use the first one. As you can see, it covers all subjects. So let me demonstrate with this. So you click on it. And it will take you to the search page. So you'll be required to log in with the registration number. I'll use one of the student's uh, registration number. And the password is default for every student, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can log in. And it bring you to this page here. And this is where you search the item that you're looking for. You can enter the title, the author, if you know, a keyword. Uh, or the subject covered by the item that you're looking for. So for this demonstration purposes, I can use financial accounting. You enter, you type the keywords or the title, then you click on search. And then it will give you very many results. This is over 79,000 books containing the keywords that you've entered. And for better experience and to make how to uh, refine your search on the left hand side, there are options of refining your search. You can do that by ear. Uh, by clicking show more, you'll see more ears and uh, you click on each of the boxes. And um, depending on the ear that you click on, those are the results that will be shown here. So if you want resources or books published in 2019, you click on 2019 and it will only give you the results for 2019 books. So you see the results have reduced to 1000. You can also refine it by subject. You can change the subject here. Um, by clicking show more, you'll see more, uh, more subjects. You can uh, refine by, you can change the language. So you can refine it by language. By clicking more, you'll see more languages there. So um, once you select the book that you're looking for, rather you refine your uh, search and to where you're satisfied, but I would request, uh, I would uh, advise that you don't refine your search too much because you might end up not finding what you're looking for. You might miss out on uh, relevant uh, resources by just refining your search too much. So once you refine it and you feel satisfied, 
you go to the results and when you, you find the item that you're looking for you click on the title of the book and it will open this page here and you have various options you can read the item online you can download it or you can download chapters so you have the table of content here so it could be that uh, these are specific chapters specific chapters that are of interest to you so you don't have to download the entire item you can download specific chapters or you can read the item online or you can download the book and by, don by downloading this uh, there are several steps you specify which computer you're using with a public or your own then you continue you can get the adobe digital which will support uh, the conversion of um, uh, which will support will enable you to convert the epub because once the book is downloaded directly it appears in an e as an epub and to convert it to a pdf will require uh, adobe digital editions so you can download this install it in your computer and you'll be able to uh, uh, um, convert the epub to a pdf but if you don't have you can send us the titles that you are of interest to you or the epubs that you've downloaded and we'll be able to convert and send to your email as uh, as, as as pdf and you'll be able to access them offline so here you select the number of days which yeah, is not affected once the item is converted to pdf then you download the book so the other thing I would like to show you is how to access the e-journals. Click on e-journals and accessing them is no different from the, the way you access ebooks. So I would uh, urge you to go through uh, to the website and access these resources. So um, for e journals, the same thing will happen. It will give you different databases through which you can access the e journals. And uh, please go and, and take some time and access these resources. So, the next one I would like to show you is the institutional repository, which for MKU Rwanda is different from this one here. So, for MKU Rwanda, yes, you access it through erepository.mquit. That is mkuit.ac.rw. So you get this uh, uh, link here and you'll be able to access all that you're looking for. This is for those who are doing research. Uh, you're able to check those topics covered by other students. If you want to build on a topic, this will support you. If you want to refer to a publication done by uh, a, a, a student or staff, you'll find those here. So please take your time. And, and go through them. So the other resource that I would like to show you is past papers for uh, revision, to support your revision. And for past papers, you'll access them through the OPAC page, which is opac.mku.ac.ke. Once you click that, it, uh, once you search that, it will open this page and you go to e-resources. There are links on the left-hand side. You go to e-resources. And past papers is the first link here. So when you click on past papers, it will open this one here, this page here. So you'll be able to select your school, your program, uh, this your specialization, and then you'll be able to see the past papers here, which you can download. Yeah, here so you can download them for your revision so make use of these resources they are here for you they're free of charge and by accessing uh, them uh, you don't need to be within the MKU um, within the university you can access them with at home provided you have uh, the login credentials and you have good internet you'll be able to access them so I'd urge you to make good use of them and I'm sure they'll be helpful for your time here in MKU for your research and your study.